guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a makeup tutorial so i just about to start wiping my face so first we're gonna wipe my face so we're just gonna get that started i'm using a facial wipe it has rose water and all um it's been in my makeup bag at the bottom of it so but I got it at the uh, Dollar Tree as a drugstore product, but it's pretty nice. I like it. So we're just going to wipe my face. Just to make sure there's nothing, like no oil on your skin or nothing like that. So I'm just going to wipe your face. You can wipe your ears, you know, too, if you want. Because I know sometimes people put makeup on their ears to match it with their face, you know, and their neck, but I don't do that. But you could if you want to, I just wanted to say that, but. So now I'm going to use my foundation. Um, You could, sometimes or sometimes you could decide just to canvas you when you're, this is your canvas. So you could decide if you just wanna put powder on your face. Sometimes it works with African-American skin tones and sometimes it looks like it looks, makes us have like this cakey type look. And it sometimes looks nice, but not all the time looks nice on our different shades of color. So that's all I'm trying to say basically. So, you know, but I'm going to show you guys how that looks too. So basically, you'll take a powder. You can get this at Walmart. This is this one. There, I want to try. I want to make my own eventually and everything else. But yeah, but for right now, this is the one that I use. It's a translucent powder. So, you know, but this one is the one. It's a neutral. Like this one's that little, look. This color shade, you know. So it's neutral though. But you can do your foundation like this if you want. So just dip a little in my powder. But this is for personal use. So we're just going to dip it in. So you can just dip it up some. Not a lot. We don't need a lot. Because what we're going to do is we're going to canvas the face. This also works if you decide that you want to bake on your face also. And you can do that also, and I do have my concealer here if I decided I wanted to bake my face too. And yeah, but there's two ways you can do this. You can either put this on here like this and then bake your face, or you can just apply the powder on your face too if you decided to do it that way also. But I decided that I wanted to do it like I'm going to bake. So what I'm going to do is I'm applying my concealer. This is what it's going to looks like. It's in Tar um by Tar. Um, the color is deep sand, but it's like the brownest one. So I'm just gonna apply that right here under my eye. You know, just to make it look more highlighted and more open. So that way it doesn't look like it did at first. So this would just open it up more, make it look brighter. It's kind of there. Just go like that to just close that off. If you didn't do that already, just so that way it makes a little brighter eye type look. You know, it looks a little brighter. So after I do that, I'm going, you could just do all your foundation and do all that also and then just powder it like that, but I don't want to do it like that. So now I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to basically plot around it and then from there, because that's going to give it the cake finish and then I'm going to start blending it as it starts to cake up just because it's too watery right now. So I'm just going to apply some powder. This is translucent powder, just to say that. And I'm also going to apply it all over my face, too. Just because this is what I would do, just to absorb the oil on my face before I put in all the, like, you know, just the oil. So that way everything's more suitable for the foundation to be applied and coveraged. 
But yeah, but we can also go over here too. But I'm gonna contour for y'all, so that's what I meant. That's really how you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make that like, go everywhere, but yeah, you know, but that's just to make everything sit more evenly and stay on for a while. So now what you're gonna do is take one of these and you're going to blend this out. Just to start blending it. Just to get it all out. And just see how I mean that look at brighter. Because you don't want to cake it too long either, like, because you have to have enough cakiness and enough blendable to blend it all out. I still have a little enough blending, enough to do these also. I know I like to blend it evenly so that way it doesn't look caked in the wrong way because I don't like having uneven foundation. So now what I'm going to do is basically apply my foundation for you guys now. So um, I'm using Spicy Brown as like the more deep, deeper root so that way it can get all like the discoloration and the unevenness so I like to apply that in the middle before like any other foundation I like to apply that as the base basically and I don't like using a lot I'm not really one of those oh I need ultimate coverage but since for today, I'm just going to give you guys a little more coverage. That's a little more, but I don't like to use too much. So I use that one, and that one is in the shade of Spicy Brown. That was in that shade, and that's Spicy Brown. And now I'm going to use Coconut. And I like to use this little Coconut just to help with like, the brighter shapes on my face, the brighter lighting. And it's just, we're just going to look Ooh, that's too much. Damn, that's too much. Ooh, it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to apply a little bit. See, it was a little too much. So we're just going to apply a little bit more on top of the spicy brown. That's a little bit more. Just a And that's gonna give me a lot of coverage. It's gonna give me a lot, a lot of coverage. But so this is how I'm gonna help out there. But this is gonna give me a lot of coverage today. So we're just gonna mix this in. But that's all how I like my foundation. I don't like my foundation not properly bendable with my skin. You know, and I'm I'm in Arizona, so you know I have a lot of discoloration already. Because Arizona, you know how Arizona be if you've ever went to Arizona yet. So we're just gonna apply that. So this is how that foundation will look. Remember, I also applied it my contour, not my contour, my concealer. My bad, I'm thinking too hard. And I applied my concealer, and this is my foundation. And I'm just gonna apply my foundation on my face and on top of my, my concealer. So that way my eyes are already brighter and I don't have to do that. But do you see why I added the powder? The powder is basically to set all the liquid in place a little bit more. You know, so when I blend it out to get the coverage I want, it's already blendable and it's already caked in, you know, so. Mm. I'm just doing, I'm just putting on my foundation on the other side real quick because I do not want this foundation to set in. But this is how the foundation will look. If it looks blended, that's how it will look. But, mm -hmm.
Make sure you get all of them in your skin. Now, as you guys see, I blended in a long time. This is just because I like to make sure all the coverage on my skin is properly distributed evenly and everything's absorbed in because I don't like makeup that doesn't look like it's been blended in properly because, yeah, this, you know, and I'm just making sure I wipe all of it off my pad of my hand so that way I got all of my color into my skin for my foundation. So I basically mix them to make an even coverage of as I needed it. Make sure you get the apples on my eyelids. Then I get the button. Also, mix that concealer, which is already big dinner, but I still have some foundation. <laughs> Two points up. So, no. So, no. Who knows? I have a long nose, but I got accustomed to it. I love it. So that's how it would look, you know, when it's foundation covered. So. You can also just take your pad of your fingertips and just blend a little bit if you want to, because I like to make sure everything's blended properly because I don't like uneven blends. I don't know. So just take the pad of your finger and just blend it at the right time. So now I have to do that. We're gonna get my contour. So basically I bought this contour at the wig store also. So you can get this at your wig apply store. You know, this is like the mixtures of contour powders, powders that they have. So what happened was one side of it broke it broke. Because my sister dropped it by accident. So yeah, but yeah, so obviously I take the fan brush like this one that looks like this in your kit. If you buy your like makeup brushes on Amazon, you will have one of these. So just to let you know, you can get this on Amazon. This is also like a fan brush for your cheekbones too, but I use this to contour. So that's the one that I use to contour. So. But I have, I have one of those too for my like highlights, you know, but then I just mix them the first two on the top this one and this one because one's broken and i want to make sure i use it so that way it's not breaking in all my other colors so i have to wear it i have the contour color on my fan brush so yeah so color so i'm gonna just put like this Just to make everything have a nice detailed on. And then my forehead also. Just to make sure everything has this perfect match or blend. Oh my god. You know, so everything can have this nice perfect blend. And it's arch form. And you find me. So, that's how 
how everything looks for contouring. We just contour job this <laughs> contour. But now we're gonna take my highlight, my highlighting brush, and which is this one. I use this one for highlighting, the same brush I use for putting my powder. I use that for highlighting also. All I do is I just you know fan it out so that way I'll like the powder to develop out of it. You can also take a damp paper towel and wipe it down to just to absorb all the other extra color, but it's fine. It's not gonna change my pigment on my left highlighter. So so I got this also at my wig store that I used to go to by my house in Phoenix. So you know, I'm just going to apply some of that also in. I'm using this one, this one right here. This one has a nice, that's a nice bit right too. It's gonna give me a natural bronze kind of looks. I'm just gonna there like that. And you can apply it down in your T zone of your nose, also in your eyes if you want to do that too, which I have a brush for that to do that, but. We're just gonna apply this highlighter on and blend it. So, mm, I'm just looking at my mirror. It's right here. At the blending. So just kind of blend it. And That's why I use this one as a highlighter. This. It works good. This is also like a powder brush. This would be like your main powder brush if you just use it for that. And I use it for highlighting. It's, it's big enough to apply a little bit of highlighter. The elbow of my 